Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and this is my very first video. So I am welcoming myself to YouTube and to the YouTube community. And I am also welcoming you all to my channel. So stay tuned. I hope that we will be on a very fun, exciting, adventure I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an introduction to who I am and why I've started this YouTube channel. So very recently I moved from um, Toronto, which is a major city in Canada. Um, it's in the province of Ontario. And I moved to Alberta, which is another province um, in Canada. So I moved to the city of Calgary, which is in the province of Alberta, but this is not geography. So let's not get into so, all of that. I realized that in Calgary, there's not much people that look like me. There's not much for me to do. It's not as diverse. Um, it's not as multicultural. Well, at least from what I can see so far, I've been here for a short period of time, but that's the feeling I'm getting so far. So I'm completely on a whole new life journey. So I figured since I have this opportunity to really, you know, do something new and explore, why not take you guys with me? Why not start a channel? And I know my channel is going to be focused a lot on beauty and fashion and lifestyle, but I'm also going to throw in my personal journey, my journey throughout, you know, moving from one city to the next or one province to the next so that you guys can all kind of see what it's like through my lenses. So... It's important for me to share that with you guys because let me tell you, it's been a struggle so far. So I don't see much people that look like me in Calgary. Um, so I just want to continue to explore that, explore what's really good with Calgary, see if it's going to measure up with Toronto. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I so am to start this, this video. Um, getting all of that out of the way, I figured what best way to start than to do a get to know me tag. So I have a few questions. I just went on, I Googled some stuff. I looked at Pinterest to see, you know, what questions and I randomly just selected right, some guys. So, um, the very first question I have here, so it's going to be 20 questions. So I'll try and get through them as quickly as possible and I'll try and give you guys some, um, you know, I'll elaborate when appropriate. So first question, where were you born? I was born in Toronto, which is in Canada. So it's a city in Canada. How old are you? <laughs> I'm grown. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'm over 30 and I'm grown. <laughs> um, when is your birthday? My birthday is in May. Um, so yeah, I'm a spring baby. What is your favorite color? That's a that's a tricky question for me because I have favorite colors for different things. Like if we're talking about home decor, I'm more of a neutral palette type of person. So I like my creams and my grays and my taupes and those types of color ranges. Um, when we're talking about like just aesthetically, what do I like to look at color wise? I love the purples, the lilacs, the um, lavenders. I love the fuchsias. I love very bright colors. So so I don't necessarily know that I have a favorite color. It just depends on, you know, what the color is. Is um, next cool. question. What is your favorite day of the week? Friday. Hey. <laughs> Friday has always been my favorite day of the week because I feel like Friday, it's kind of the closure of a of a drawn out week a lot of the times it's it's normally like okay yeah friday is a day where you kind of unwind relax let your hair down you go out or you just number take six what is your favorite food mm. i'm definitely a foodie guys and you'll get to see that throughout my channel i i love food so <laughs> that's also a hard question i will say um oh, oh. That's hard. That's hard. I don't want to say something safe like chicken, but <laughs> um, I'll say this. I, I'll say this. Jamaican food is my favorite. Uh, what is your favorite drink? Uh, 
um, that one's also hard. I, I don't know that I have a favorite drink. I think um, if we're talking about alcohol, um, I would definitely say Moscato. Any type of sweet Moscato is what I lean towards. If we're talking about like more of a casual, like every type, day type of drink, I would probably lean towards like a, a fruit punch, something like that. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> This is so boring, but actually, no. Um, chocolate, sorry, chocolate chip cookie dough is my favorite um, ice cream. Bread. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm grown. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll skip past. Next question. Okay, so we're back at question number 10. Where do you want to live when you grow up? Again, guys, I'm grown, so um, it's not a matter of where I want to live when I grow up. It's a matter of where am I going to live. So right now, as I mentioned, I'm currently in Calgary. I've only been here for a short period of time. Um, I was born and raised in Toronto, where I've lived my entire life. And so to answer that question at this point, I would definitely, ultimately, um, reside in, in Toronto. But... Ask me that again in the next six months to a year. I might have a different answer. Okay, so number 11. Do you have any brothers or sisters and how many? So yes, I have a very large family. Um, I have four older sisters and one brother. So, um, and let me clarify that for you guys, actually. I have four older sisters, one brother on my mother's side, and I have another brother on my father's side. So I don't want, I don't want, you know, my other brother to feel excluded. I gotcha. Um, but the original that I mentioned um, are my siblings from my mother. And we all grew up together. Um, my brother from my father's side, um, my father has many more children, um, but we won't get into that. But I, I mentioned this particular brother because I also grew up with him. So he was um, still very much so part of my 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 childhood and growing up. And um, so, yes, I would definitely put him as part of the package. So four older sisters um, and two brothers, <laughs> but one brother from my mom and my father. If that makes sense. Question number 12. We're at 12, right? Yeah, we're at 12. Uh, 12. Do you have any pets? If so, what kind? No. No. Don't got any. Don't want any. Will not have any. No, thank you. <laughs> number 13. What do you like to do in your free time? Well, right now, I will say in my free time, I really enjoy um, decorating. So, like I said, I moved to Calgary, so it's all about kind of, you know, um, fixing up the home the way I want it to, to be, making some changes, so all of that. So, I'm really into home decor. I'm constantly looking at um, furniture. I'm looking at accent pieces. I'm even looking at paint. So... <laughs> I'm looking at uh, number 14. Who is your best friend? Actually, yeah, well, best friend, Connie. Connie is definitely my bestie, my girl. Um, yeah, that she's my best friend, but also I would say my sisters are, are my best friends. So um, my sister, my brother, because we're very tight. So those are, um, you know, my best friends. And Bay, of course. I'll, I'll throw Bay in there because if I don't, I'm going to get in big trouble. So Bay, shout out to you too. You, you're my best friend too. Um, number 15. What is your favorite subject? I like, I'm not in school anymore. So maybe I should have picked a better tag, a better set of questions, but I'm not in school. So um, I'll, I'll say this. In university, um, I wanted to study anthropology. So number 16, what is your favorite movie? 
that's a hard one i love to watch movies i'm definitely a movie type of person i can sit down on a saturday and just watch movies if i'm having a lazy day and i also like to go out and go to the theater um but favorite movie like i can't just pick one favorite movie and honestly like i don't know that's that's such a hard <laughs> it's really really hard um Hmm. Hmm. You guys, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Number 17. What is your favorite book? Again, I I actually like to read. Like I enjoy reading. Um, I've collected a large catalog of books. Um yeah, I've collected a very large catalog of books, and I really do enjoy reading. So it's that's another hard question. I don't know that I can select one book that's my favorite book, but what I will say is the book that I always recommend to people or say, you know what, you should read, or probably more so to my nieces and nephews, um, because it has such a lasting impression on you after you read it, but it's intimidating when you see the book because it's 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 like that thick. Roots. Yes, roots people read number 18 what is your favorite animal <laughs> so this kind of ties back in with my pets um and i was like hell no same thing with my at with animals i i'm not an animal person like i rather you guys stay there i'll stay here i don't i'm not messing with you you don't mess with me we're good i don't don't like them i understand that there's a purpose to them which is great but i'm not an animal lover um at the same time that does not mean that i i condone or i want people to treat them badly harm them no i don't agree with that but i'm just me personally not an animal person okay 19 so we're almost there guys we're almost done um just two more to go 19 what is your favorite place Ooh, i don't favorite place like didn't mean like country mall like favorite place home <laughs> home is my favorite place like and home is where my where my heart is like home is always going to be my favorite place to always come back to so even if i am out on the road somewhere whether i'm visiting another country whether i'm in another city whether i'm out visiting you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry, who, whatever the case may be, whether I'm out attending an event, I'm always going to enjoy coming home. So that has to be my favorite place. Your home has to be some place that you're comfortable, you feel safe, you feel loved, um, all of those things. So home will always be my favorite place to come back to, no matter what. Last question, guys. Last question. This is it. Number 20. What is your favorite song? The, the favorite song? I'm 30 plus years old. Like there's so much, there's so much, like there's so much. The catalog is way too big for me to have a favorite song. Like a favorite song? And I am... I love music, so I love different genres of music. I, I can't give you guys a favorite song. I, I I can't give you guys a favorite song. But what I will say is for 2020, no, 2019, because the song came out in 2019, I'll say the most impactful song for me for 2019 and 2020 so far, so far, Beyonce Brown Skin Girl. When I heard that song, it just, something inside of me, it just, it just, I just felt like. Beyonce. Brown skin girl, your skin just like pearl. Oh gosh, like that song, I just, I felt so like, it made me feel some type of way inside. It really did. Okay guys, so. Those are the 20 questions. I hope that you've gotten to know me a little bit better. Um, and I hope that you guys will stick with me throughout this journey. Um, there's going to be a lot of 
exciting things to come but more most importantly this channel will be fun it'll be fun it'll be exciting um yeah and i just hope that you guys stick with me throughout this journey so in the meantime i shall see you guys later check me out for the next video and of course as the youtubers and now myself always like to say please like share comment and subscribe to my channel see you in the next one guys Take care.